There's a ton of Pixar fun coming to the Disneyland Resort this next summer. This is D4E Ticket News. All right, what's up, everyone? There is a lot to cover, even though it's only been a week since our last episode. So let's get straight into D-Ticket news. Last week, Disney released some more details on Pixar Fest, the celebration coming to the Disneyland Resort next spring. The highlights include the movement of the Pixar Play Parade to Disneyland Park, along with some new parade elements, some added character presence in both parks throughout the fest, a new fireworks spectacular called Together Forever, a Pixar nighttime spectacular, drawing on the themes of friendship that occur in many Disney Pixar films, and probably what I think is most exciting, the return of Paint the Night over at California Adventure. They have said that a new parade float will be joining the show. However, there are no details on that yet, and they say it will be joining at a later date. The whole fest is set to begin April 13th and runs through the summer. No end date has been given yet. Disney has finally released some new details about Pixar Pier, which will be taking over Paradise Pier starting next summer. We now know that it is going to be made up of four distinct neighborhoods, each themed to some specific movie or franchise. One neighborhood is going to be themed to The Incredibles, one to Toy Story, one to Inside Out, and the other one is just going to be left to all the rest of the Pixar characters. There's only three specific attraction details that we know for sure right now. The first is that California Screamin' is in fact going to be rethemed and it's going to be called the Incredicoaster. I'm sure that name is going to grow on us. But so yes, it is going to be themed to the Incredibles. Along with this retheming, is is going to get a new loading area with a nice mid-century modern feel, which matches the films. We're also going to be getting some new coasters themselves, and there are going to be new character elements added into the ride. Now, if you look at the uh, concept art that they've released, you can see that at the end of the ride, it's now going to be enclosed. So we can assume that as the coaster slows down, there's now going to be some like dark ride-ish elements included as you come back to the station, which is going to be pretty cool. Now, I had also assumed that when they announced Pixar Pier, that the games of the boardwalk were going to be removed. Apparently, they are not. They are only going to be re-theming them, so they are all based on Pixar movies. Right now, only one of them is. So, they're actually going to stay put. Also, if you look at the first concept art that they gave us back at D23, you will notice a sign in the back that clearly labels something called the Pixar Fun Wheel. So they are at least planning back then to remove the Mickey off of Mickey's Fun Wheel and replace it with Luxo Jr. You know, the yellow ball with a red star and a blue stripe. Well, that is not the case. Mickey's Fun Wheel is going to stay with Mickey on the front. The only difference is that the gondolas are going to now feature Pixar characters instead of Disney characters. Uh, we do know that Ariel's Grotto and the Cove Bar are going to be closed and re-themed into one cohesive bar and grill, but that's all we know. We also know that the Inside Out area, which is on the western end of the boardwalk, inside the Helix, is going to feature a brand new family-friendly attraction, but they aren't even sure exactly what that is yet, so no details have been given. It will not be opening with the rest of Pixar Pier. Now, you may have noticed that I said nothing about the area from Silly Symphony Swings over, and that's because that area is not being touched. When they open up Pixar Pier, they're actually going to split Paradise Pier into two lands. You have Pixar Pier, and then the rest will be Paradise Park. That will include Silly Symphony Swings, Jumpin' Jellyfish, The Golden Zephyr, Goofy Sky School, The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure, Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta, the Paradise Garden Grill, and Paradise Gardens. So all of that is going to stay put and not be themed and be its own separate land, apparently. Now, what does this all mean for you as park guests? Well, starting January 8th, California Screamin', The Games of the Boardwalk, Mickey's Fun Wheel, Ariel's Grotto, and The Cove Bar are all going to be closed while they transform them all. Um, the Cove Bar will reopen again for a very short period of time in April before it closes permanently, but that's kind of, it's essentially going to be gone at the beginning of January. So for the first half of the year, expect a lot of construction and closures on the southern end of California Adventure. 
Now they have not given any projected date yet of when this is all gonna be finished, except to say summer 2018. So we're thinking June, maybe July, but my guess would be June that we're looking at here. So just the first half of the year and then Pixar Pier should be done. All right, so that's actually some really big news that we've gotten in just about a week since our last episode. So a lot to take in. Um, go ahead and leave in the comments what you're most excited for, uh, especially what you think about the new theming of California Screamin'. If you're thinking thumbs up, thumbs down, I'm thumbs up on it. I don't know about you. Uh, as well as leave us any questions you may have, comments, concerns, requests for other videos, and make sure to follow us on Facebook for some more up-to-date news and tips and tricks to help you make your vacations go smoother. And you can also find all, a whole lot more updates on our website at DisneylandForever.com. And we will see you guys next time. All right, bye.